Understanding the documents required for a joint sponsor and co-sponsor in the U.S. visa spouse process on CAAC. Hi there! Are you in the process of applying for a U.S. visa for your spouse and need a joint sponsor or co-sponsor? Today, we're going to break down the specific documents you need to upload to the Consular Electronic Application Center or CAAC for a smooth visa journey. Stick around as we we'll go through everything. Let's start by understanding what a joint sponsor and a co-sponsor mean in the context of the U.S. spouse visa process. When you apply for a U.S. visa spouse, the petitioner or the spouse who is a U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident must prove that they meet the minimum income requirement to support the incoming spouse. This requirement is determined based on the Federal Poverty Guidelines. Now, let's move on on the essential part, the documents needed for a joint sponsor and co-sponsor when uploading them to the CAAC. However, sometimes the petitioner's income isn't sufficient. That's when you can seek a joint sponsor or co-sponsor. A joint sponsor is someone who agrees to share the financial responsibility of the supporting the immigrant. This person must be a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent resident and meet the income requirement independently of the petitioner. A co-sponsor, also referred to us as a household member, is someone in the same household as the petitioner who can combine their income with the petitioners to meet the required threshold. Both roles are vital in ensuring the U.S. government has confidence that the immigrant will not be a, become a public charge. Now let's move on on the essential part, the documents needed for a joint sponsor and co-sponsor when uploading them to the CAAC. Step 1. Form I-864 or Affidavit of Support. Document needed. The main form you'll need is the Form I-864 form also called the Affidavit of Support. The joint sponsor or co-sponsor must complete this form. It's a legally binding document that states that the sponsor will financially support the immigrant if necessary. Just a reminder, make sure the information is accurate and consistent as any discrepancies can delay the visa process. Step 2. Proof of U.S. Citizenship or Lawful Permanent Residence Documents needed. For U.S. citizens, upload a copy of one of the following. A U.S. birth certificate, a valid U.S. passport biographic page. A certificate of naturalization. For local permanent residents, upload a copy of your green card, both front and back. This proves that the joint sponsor or co-sponsor is legally eligible to sponsor an immigrant. Step 3. Income Evidence Documents needed the joint sponsor or co-sponsor must provide proof of income. Here are the acceptable documents. IRS tax return transcripts for most recent tax year preferred over regular tax returns. Uh, W-2s and 1099 forms. These forms are provide breakdown of income resources. Pay stamps or unemployment letter. In the case the joint sponsor started a new job, provide several recent pay stamps or a letter from the employer to confirm current income. Self-employed individuals should submit IRS Form 1040 and proof of business income, example schedule, C or other supporting documents. Pro tip, upload the three years of tax returns to provide additional assurance of financial stability although only the most recent year is mandatory. Step 4. Proof of domicile in the U.S. Document needed. The joint sponsor or co-sponsor must show that they live in the United States. Acceptable proof includes a lease agreement or mortgage statement, utility bills in their name, a valid U.S. driver's license or state ID, employer record showing U.S. employment. This proves that the sponsor maintains a primary residence in the U.S. 
Step 5. Assets, evidence if necessary. Documents needed. If the joint sponsor's income doesn't meet the federal poverty guidelines, they can use assets to make up the difference. Acceptable assets include savings account, property, investment, or other forms of capital. You will need to upload evidence such as bank statement, appraisal for property, or investment statements showing the current value of these assets. The assets must equal at least five times the shortfall in income. Step 6. Proof of relationship or household co-sponsor. Document needed. If the co-sponsor is a member of the same household as the petitioner, you need to show proof of the relationship. Acceptable documents include marriage certificate, birth certificates, or proof of shared address, example, joint utility bills or lease agreements. This shows that the co-sponsor is in a close enough relationship to justify adding their income to the petitioners. And there you have it, a detailed guide on the documents needed for a joint sponsor or co-sponsor in the U.S. spouse visa process. Following these steps carefully will not only make the process smoother but also give you the best chance for success. Don't forget to review everything before submission and ensure all the documents are cleared and properly labeled. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more informative guides, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments. We're here to help you through your visa journey. Thank you for watching and best of luck with your visa process. God bless.